Okay. I just want you to stay in the line with me. I, we need to know what's going on. Okay. Okay. I am on the floor. Okay. And you've okay. got the kids in the there. Library. And I've got every student in this library on the floor. You better stay on the floor. Is there any way you can lock the doors? Um, smoke is coming in from out there, and I'm a little okay. afraid. The gun is right outside the library door. Okay. I don't think I'm going to go out there. Okay. okay. You're okay. calling my high school. I got, I got three children. Okay. We got it. Okay. what the shooter looks like. White male, uh, he had a big coat, uh, black or blue, uh, uh, he had facial hair, uh, I don't know what way he went. White male, okay. I ran upstairs, uh, we're in the classroom right now, we have an instructor with us, we barricaded the door. Okay, can you stay on the line while I get officers en route? Yeah. State tall units, can I have you en route to Nichols Hall for shots fired? Suspect is... Okay, and what is your current location? Upstairs in 301. I'm going to ask that you stay on the line with me. I have officers en route. Me and continue to barricade your space. And be prepared to defend yourself if necessary. What you have just seen is a proactive approach to survival in a violent intruder situation. Traditional response to violent intruder events has focused primarily on lockdown only principles. Analysis of past events has taught us that survival may depend on utilizing several options to include but not limited to lockdown. Under stress, we default to our level of training. We must train our brains to react to various crisis events, allowing us to respond proactively and increasing our chances for survival. The shooter has a plan, you should too. This training will aid you in developing that plan. Alice is a concept which allows those who find themselves in deadly situations the opportunity to make informed decisions about how they respond to that event given the available information. Alice is an acronym to help you remember what to do. Your response may or may not occur in the order listed and all options might not be necessary for every event. Keep in mind, each person or group will respond differently given their proximity to the crisis and responses may change during the duration of the event. Alert. If you are in a safe place, use any means available to alert the police. Stay on the line if at all possible. Give clear and accurate information about the location, suspect, weapons, and injuries. Alert others of the danger if possible, again using any means available to you. Lockdown. Lockdown is still an integral aspect of active shooter response. If you are in an area that can be secured, do so. Lock the door if possible and use other means to barricade and secure the door. 
Stay clear of windows and silence phones. Even if the door is secured and barricaded, make a plan on how you will respond if the shooter makes entry into your area and be ready to attack if necessary. Inform. Continue to share information with the police, those around you, and others throughout the entirety of the event. Information is fluid and your response must be as well. Counter. If you come in contact with the shooter and you cannot escape, make yourself a hard target. Move, react, throw objects. Do not become static and passive. Improvise defense. Use anything and everything to distract or disable the shooter. If possible, employ multiple people to swarm, secure, and disarm the attacker. Put the weapon in a trash can or out of sight. When the police arrive, they do not want to misidentify who the shooter is. Remember, if you encounter a shooter, it will be a fight for survival. Don't hesitate. Most active shooters are not expecting resistance. Evacuate. If there is any safe way out of the room and building, use it to escape. The goal in any crisis situation is to remove yourself from it and create as much distance as possible. Know your surroundings, exits, escape points. Don't use your car to evacuate. You do not want to cause traffic jams that prevent police from getting to the site. The most important message to remember is do something. Your goal is to survive by any means necessary. Train your brain and be proactive about your survival.